Hello everyone, I am Sujoy and I welcome you to my another CCNA networking tutorial. Today I will tell you how to do 11 different subnetting calculations in just 10 minutes. So let's start. This is our given IP 192.168.1.115 slash 27. Here the 192.168.1.115 represents an IP address and 27 value represents the subnet mask. Both the IP address and the subnet mask are represented using 32 bit binary number. So here the IP address which is the 32 bit binary number is divided into 4 groups where each group contains 8 binary bits representing an octet. The word octa means 8 from that the word octet comes. So here the 192 is the first octet, 168 is the second octet. 1 is the third octet and 115 is the fourth octet separated by three dots. This representation is called the dotted decimal representation because the numbers are represented using decimal number system and separated by dots. But basically each number is a 8 bit binary number. Now the subnet mask which is also a 32 bit binary number. So here slash 27 means out of 32 bit binary number in subnet mask first 27 bits are kept 1 and remaining 5 bits are kept 0. In other words from the left first 27 bits are reserved and undeserved bits are 5. Remember this value. Now coming to solution first you have to construct this weighted binary chart. It is very easy. Starting from the right first number is 1 and each number is multiple of 2. So 1 into 2 is 2, 2 into 2 is 4, 4 into 4, 2 is 8 and so on up to 128. There is another logic that is 2 to the power logic. So first number is 2 to the power 0 representing 1 in decimal. Next 2 to the power 1 representing 2 in decimal. Next 2 to the power 2 representing 4 in decimal and so on up to 2 to the power 7 representing 128 in decimal. This weighted binary chart represents an octet because it has 8 bits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. First calculation, subnet mask. There is slash 27. That means 27 minus 24, 3 bits are reserved. So the subnet mask is, if you reserve 3 bits from the left, you will get 128 plus 64 plus 32 equals to 224. So the complete subnet mask is 255.255.255.224. Here first 3 255 represents the first 3 octets are reserved. In other words for first 3 octets 8 into 3 24 bits are already reserved. And in the fourth octet which is variable out of 8 bits 3 bits are reserved. So we have total 8 plus 8 plus 8 24 plus 3, 27 bits are reserved. That is the meaning of slash 27. Second calculation, block size. So, undeserved bits are 8 minus 3, 5 bits. 8 minus, because 8 represents an octet. So, in our case, fourth octet is variable. So, in the fourth octet, undeserved bits are 5. So, the block size is equals to 2 to the power undeserved bits. That is 2 to the power 5 equals 32. This 2 to the power 5 value you can get from this weighted binary chart. So our block size is 32. After finding block size everything becomes so easy. Third calculation network ID or network address. So the block size is 32. Now we will count in the block of 32. Starting from 0 ending at 256. Because by 8 binary bits we can represent maximum 2 to the power 8 256 in decimal. So let's count 0, then 32, 32 into 2, 64, 32 into 3, 96, 32 into 4, 128, and so on, up to 256. Now, our given IP 115 falls in between 96 and 128, and starting from 96 is our network ID. So the network ID or network address is equal to 192.168.1.96 So our network is 
dot 96. So our subnet is from 96 to 127 because from 128 next subnet will start. Fourth calculation broadcast address. Broadcast address is the last address of the subnet. So our last address is 127 because from 128 next subnet will start. So the broadcast address is equals to 192.168.1.127. Fifth calculation start IP of the subnet. Start IP is the IP just after the network ID. The network ID is 96. So start IP will be 192.168.1.97. Sixth calculation end IP of the subnet. End IP is the IP just before the broadcast address. The broadcast address is 127. So end IP is 192.168.1.126. Seventh calculation range of IP addresses for this subnet. Our subnet is 96 subnet and range is nothing but starting from the start IP ending at the end IP so which is 192.168.1.97 up to 192.168.1.126 these are the valid IP addresses which you can assign to the host or devices in that particular subnet. Eighth calculation how many subnets is given by 2 to the power reserve bits. Reserve bits are 3, 2 to the power 3 equals to 8. So there are 8 subnets. You can verify it. This is our first subnet 0 to 31, second subnet 32 to 63, third subnet 64 to 95 and so on. So there are a total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 subnets. Ninth calculation, how many hosts per subnet? It's given by 2 to the power undeserved bits minus 2. So undeserved bits are 5, 2 to the power 5 minus 2. It equals to 32 minus 2 equals to 30 hosts per subnet. You can verify it. Starting from 97, count up to 100. 97, 98, 99, 100. There are 4 addresses. And from 100 to 126, there are 26 addresses. So there are total 4 plus 26, 30 host in this subnet. That is 30 host per subnet. Nth calculation, the IP 192.168.1.115 is in which subnet? So as you can see, this is the first subnet, second, third and fourth. This is the fourth subnet. So our IP is in fourth subnet. 11th calculation represent 192.168.1.115 in binary. Very easy. We will use the weighted binary chart for this calculation. So to get 192 from this chart we need the value 128 plus 64. Adding them up you will get 192. So we have taken 128 and 64. So we have placed 1 below the two numbers and we have not taken the other numbers. We have placed 0 below them. So the binary equivalent of 192 is 11 followed by 6 zeros equals to 192 in decimal. Now for 168 we need 128 plus 32 plus 8. So we have taken these three numbers. So we have placed 1 below them and we haven't taken the other numbers. So we have placed 0 below them. So the binary equivalent of 168 is equals to 101013 0, 1, 0, That's equals to 101013 0, 1, 0. It's the binary equivalent of decimal 168. Similarly, for 1, we need only the 1. I, and we don't need the other numbers. So we have placed 0 below them. So the binary equivalent of decimal 1 equals to 7 zeros and 1. Now for 115, we need 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 2 plus 1. You have to basically add the numbers. So we have taken these numbers. So we have placed 1 below them. And below the other numbers we have placed 0. So the binary equivalent of decimal 115 equals to 0 triple 1 double 0 double 1. Which is the binary equivalent of decimal 115. 
For complete CCNA tutorials, visit my YouTube channel www.youtube.com front slash studio n70 and please like and share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing.